Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the pencil in Adobe Illustrator. So, we're going to select the pencil by pressing P on the keyboard, or you can go up to the top and select it. And we're going to start with just basically what the pencil is. So, the pencil creates a path wherever you click. So, I've got my first point there. If I click here now, as you can see, it's created a path. So, if I click multiple different points and create a shape, when you bring it back to where you started, you'll see this small circle next to the cursor. That means it's going to close the path. So, when you do that, you've now got a closed path and you now have a shape which is this you can do what you like with it, rotate it do what you want um, and then you can obviously add fill to it, add, do whatever you like with it but I'm just going to delete that one and now I'm going to show you the straight lines that you can do using the shift key uh, that's where you click and hold shift see how we move it around or if I press shift it just locks it straight to the horizontal there um, this locks at 45 degree angles, so as you can see, it's locking at all the 45 degrees here. There you go. Yeah, so that'd come in handy um, quite a lot actually using those, trying to, like, to get straight lines. Um, now let's go to the curved lines, which is just basically clicking and dragging. As you can see, you get these curved, weird lines. And again, if you reconnect it to the start, like that, you'll create a closed path. Not that you'd ever really want to create a shape like this, but this is just an example of what you can actually do with the pencil. Now we're going to go to the curved lines while holding shift, and as you can see, when you click and drag and hold shift, it keeps these um, handles across the top straight. So, and again, do it again, and you can see it keeps the curves a lot smoother than if you was to just go ahead and just start doing random shapes like this. You see how this was much smoother, and then it gets all messy and weird there. If you want to move a point, say, say you want to move this point so, um, over here, what you do is go to the direct select tool, which is the second one down, or it's um, A on your keyboard, and. If you, want to, if you want to select and move a particular point, just go down to whichever point it is, say it's this one, click it first, and then you can click and drag it and maneuver it so you can move it, move it any way you want around the page. If you want to move the handles, these, um, if you want to move both of them, as you can see, you just click it, left click, um, and if you drag it about, you can see it moves both sides of the, um, the line. Um, if you hold Alt, then click, you'll see the little plus next to the thing before, if, you, if you're on the pencil and you hold Alt, you'll see this little plus symbol appear. As you can see, it just moves the path on the side that I'm holding it. Um, so, obviously the same goes for this side if you did it there, let me just undo that. Now let's go to the Shift, so, find one that's, well, the, the only use the Shift key if you've got what, if you've got any handles that are on a, um, one of the 45 degree angles, so, for this case, this one is, if you hold Shift, that'll just bring this one Sorry. That'll just bring this one point down on this side, like it would do when you press Alt. If you want to delete a point, um, say say you didn't want this point here, say this was in the way and you didn't want it, you wanted to take it out, all you do is simply go to the pen tool, and all you do is hover over the point and click, and it'll remove it. So, as you can see now, you can maybe adjust these to get these to the shape you wanted them. So that's why you deleted it. Something I nearly forgot, um, this is something that I didn't know for quite a while and it really annoyed me. So I can imagine quite a few of you are going to have, this, going to have had the same problem. When you're creating, say, a path like this, and then say you wanted to end the path and create something else underneath it, but obviously it's still connected like this, wherever you click the path's going to continue. So how would you get out of this? These, the, um, you can go to the top and click on deselect, go to select and deselect. But the faster way of doing it is what I find is just press control or command if you're on Mac and just click anywhere on the screen and it'll deselect it for you. And then you can start building your other paths like this. So that's a good one. Now we're going to try out what we've just learned. So I'm going to put this picture in the description for you to download. And then you can copy, well, do what I'm doing here. Drag it into your document, double click the thumbnail icon on the layer palette and dim to 50%. Press OK and then lock the layer. Create a new layer above it. This is one where your path's going to be on. And then if you zoom in, you can see how already how pixelated the picture is. And ideally you want to be able to stretch this up to however big you want it without losing detail. So a pen tool and it going around it, making it a vector will do this for you. So let's get started on it. Let's get the first point down. 
and you don't want to um you really don't want to put points too close together especially when you're trying to get a nice long curve like this so you might see people see how i've just made that there you might see people doing it like trying to put a point here and trying to put a point here and then if you click off it you can just kind of see how it doesn't flow properly so let's go back to this one the first one i did and then here's where i'm gonna have to use something that i've shown you where to drag this as you can see if i try and go up here now look at the look how rounded it is if i click here now and try and bend it back it's gonna give me a weird shape so what you want to do is at this handle down here hold alt and drag upwards it's maybe about around there this getting used to that is just a matter of doing it over and over and over so you kind of get get an idea of roughly where you've got to put it so that's why I got it fairly close that time so as you can see drag that but this one's still gonna need some adjusting so I'm gonna hold alt and click and drag up so you can see that looks a lot better now and then another one that we're gonna be doing is clicking on the anchor to take off the anchor arm from this one so carry on click and drag again holding alt to drag it back in to get this to be smaller and click and drag again and again holding alt when you're holding alt as well you want to make sure that when you bring in this handle back in you want it to be oh, disappeared. when you bring in this handle back in you want it to be perfectly opposite the other handle so let me show you Oops. So you can see they're perfectly opposite each other. You don't want to be moving it so it's like this, because then when it comes to uh, if you if you get this problem, if you come back to a path and there's nothing on the end of it, just hold Alt and click and drag from the point, and it will give you your handle back. So see how that's straight now. If I dragged this up to the side like this, and I tried to carry it on, no, that's not a good example. If I tried to drag it down here, and then tried to click here, as you can see it like kind of veers it down that way which is what you don't want so when you do it try and make sure you keep it as straight as you can obviously when you're working on a straight line as well so say you went here and you wanted to adjust this one all you do is hold alt and shift at the same time and click and drag and then you can change it so just go back to this and let's carry this on let's click this up to here make sure you follow. click to end the path Click and drag again, hold the alt, and then I think that one I could drag all the way. Yeah, I think I'll get away with that. Then click to end it again, click and drag, hold alt, because it's not a complete edge, it's a rounded edge, so you still want to keep it rounded. And then drag that on. So we've got that bit, and now to deselect that and make the final part. Select. Drag. Just move that in a little bit to make it a bit more sharp. Right, and as you can see, you've now got that. If you turn off the image layer at the background, and then highlight all this by just clicking over it, and then if you press this little arrow here, it'll switch the fill and the stroke. So now you can see you've got your little shape that you've just outlined, and then let's just give you an example of what you can do with it. Make it as big as you like, and you zoom in, look, there's still no detail lost. Thanks for watching guys, let me know if this tutorial's helped you out and um, hopefully I'll be doing more tutorials in the future now that I've got this mic and hopefully the quality of them will get better as well, I mean I'm still fairly new to them so they are going to be fairly straightforward but over time obviously they will get better. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.